Hey everybody, Don Dabney from Left Coast Classics, and this here is a 1966 Ford Galaxy Custom 500. And in this video, I'm going to take you for a cruise in the car, I'm going to take you around the car, I'm even going to take you under the car. So, let's go. It's fun driving it. My mom had the station wagon version of the car, so it's like a blast from the past. The car gets up and goes great. I mean, it's got plenty of power. It doesn't smoke. It starts easily. It runs smoothly, and it drives straight going down the road. It has a, kind of an older set of white walls with plenty of tread on the front. We just put a new set on the back, and uh, it tracks pretty well here. The suspension feels good. Overall, it's a nice little cruiser. It's a pretty, it's a car that's partially original and some things have been done, but overall it's a pretty nice car. Now it doesn't have power steering, but it's it's very easy to drive. I think the way they configured these things, it just I don't feel like I need the power steering to drive it and to, and to maneuver it comfortably and easily. Anyway, the stopping feels good. It's just overall a cool car. All right, there it is. So anyway, thanks for checking it out. Be sure to check out the description uh, on my website or on the other sites. Most of the content is going to be on my site at Left Coast Classics. So if you're seeing it somewhere else, go over there to my for sale page and find the car and you'll have a lot more photos on that in that location. Um, anyway, give us a call. My, I'm on all the, I'm on, uh, you know, we're on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. I post as much as I can anyway. And uh, you're probably up on our YouTube channel approaching 7 million views. Uh, I'm on two episodes of Wheeler Dealers, a 57 Ford Thunderbird from, I think, around 2013 with Mike Brewer and, uh, and Ed China, and the last one was in 2018 for a 72 Lancia Fulvia. We have a third episode coming, but I can't tell you what the car is. But if you have any other questions, you need questions about shipping, financing, anything like that, just give me a call on my uh, number there. It should be right in the description, and thanks for checking out this cool Galaxy. All right, so let's head underneath the uh, Galaxy. It's got a really nice undercarriage, just really clean. Check out the floors and everything. Looks like somebody restored it all nicely under here, probably not too long ago. And then check out all these, uh, the inner rockers are really good too. Super solid and clean. Looks like they were all acid etched.
It's a really nice shape. Really the only thing funky under here, and I don't think it's affecting anything, is that if you take a look at these two mufflers, you'll notice that the one on the right is kind of tweaked. I don't know if it got like, like it's bloated, like maybe, <laughs> I, I, I just, I haven't seen that. It's kind of odd. Here's the other one. Be pretty easy to change that out. Uh, but the car sounds good, sounds healthy, so probably fine. Anyway, very, very nice undercarriage on this car. So much work has been done on this car already. All right, so we're going to do the old Magnet Test 2000 here. It's just kind of a weak magnet. I think we got a little bit of filler in that lower. I can feel it. Now this is, you know, obviously, what you car guys know, this is just in the door. This is pretty common. Somewhere a seal would leak up above over some period of time and it would build down here. So that's repairable. It's only in the door. That doesn't make it pretty, but it is there. That's the worst of it too. Sorry, we got a lot of kind of water drips and scuffs down here that I think could all be polished out. Probably should have done that. I will do that before the car ships anywhere. Okay. So far the magnet sticking is good. bit of stuff right there it's like cracking yeah, the magnets sticking there so that's good Maybe a little bit in there now back here is really where you got some magnet action or less like it doesn't want to stick there. So I'm just telling you, we got some filler, Captain, or some fiberglass. We got some stick them down there. And there, and there, and there, and there. But down here, not so much. So let's take a little look see under there. That has been worked. But hey, if they got rid of it, they got rid of it. I'm gonna feel back there. Oh, I think it's fiberglass. So looks like some rust repair was done back there in that quarter. Anyway, you know, it's an old sedan, so you'll have a little of that here and there. But it looks like it was done quite some time ago, so I think most of it, if not all of it, would have popped back through at this point. Anyway, overall, not bad. Just looks like, uh, it looks like dad's commuter car. Kind of cool, isn't it?